Okay, in this lecture, we will discuss about the second structure of the fibrous layer of the eye ball, and that second structure is called sclera. We have discussed about the cornea in our last lecture, and now we will discuss about the sclera. If you can see in my eyes, the whitish portion in my eye is called sclera, and the sclera is the very toughest membrane of the eye ball. And if you talk about further about the sclera, the sclera is 80 percent. Of the total surface area of the eyeball. This is the maximum. This is the 80% of the total surface area of the eyeball. Now, if we discuss about the thickness level of the sclera, the thickness of the sclera is different at different levels of the sclera. So if sclera is 0.3 millimeter to 1.00 millimeter thickness, is having 0.3 to 1 millimeter of thickness at different levels which we will discuss later and now if we talk about the different structures of the eyeball sorry layers of the eyeball the very first layer of the sclera is episclera the second the sclera itself or sclera proper and the third structure or the third layer of the sclera is lamina F-U-S-C-A These are three different layers of the sclera. If we move from outermost surface of the sclera towards the innermost surface of the sclera, this is the sequence of the different layers of the sclera. So, the sclera, these three layers of the sclera are made up of different, they have different composition, like these three layers are made up of different connective, dense connective tissues and different bundles and different fibers. Connective tissues Elastic fibers and collagen fibers. You can see these three different layers of the sclera having three different types of these connective tissues the dense connective tissues, the elastic fibers and the collagen fibers as well now we will discuss a little bit detail of the different layers of the sclera the very first layer you can see I am not talking about sclera on the upper side of the sclera or you can see the outermost surface of the sclera have a facial sheath or fascia called an capsule. If you can zoom here, this greenish structure is called tenon capsule, right? And beneath the tenon capsule, there is a structure, there is a layer of the eye of the sclera which is called episcara. Beneath the tenon capsule, which, which I marked with a green marker, this is called tenon capsule, right? In this tenon capsule, the whole eyeball is moved, right? And beneath the tenon capsule, we have a different structure, we have different layer of the sclera, which is called episclera. And this episclera has vascularity. This is vascular layer of the sclera. And this, which I marked with a blue marker, is called episclera, which is the first layer of the sclera. And this first layer, this episclera, is vascular layer. So this vascular layer, this episclera is also responsible for the nutrition of the sclera, right? The selective nutrition for the sclera, right? If you can see, the sclera is very opaque structure, right? It's, it has a very limited blood supply. So episclera is called vascular layer and it is the first layer of the sclera, right? And it is made up of the connective tissue, the dense connective tissue. As I told earlier, the episclera is made up of the dense connective tissues, right? And if we talk about, so you can see this episclera has different type of the cells like fibroblasts 
macrophages. These speci specialized cells contain the epicentra contains these specialized cells, the fibroblasts, microphages as well. Right? And if you talk about the second structure of the sclera, this is called sclera proper. And this sclera proper is totally an avascular structure. Right? And it's made up of the collagen fibers, the dense collagen fibers. Right? And it has some elastic fibers as well. The sclera proper has is made up of the collagen fibers and it has some elastic fibers as well. Right? So, our third or last layer of the sclera is lamina fusca. The lamina fusca is the third layer of the sclera. So, the first is called tendon capsule, which is which is marked with a green marker, and underneath the green marker, underneath the tendon capsule, this is another layer of the sclera, which is called episclera, right? Which is made up of the connective tissues, and underneath the connective tissues, underneath the episclera, there is an other surface, there is another layer of the sclera, and that is called sclera proper. Now, if you talk about the different 